Crystal Ball College Football. I'm your host, Grayson Grunhafer, and it's conference championship week. So we're going to go through pretty much all the big-time conference championship games uh, throughout the week. So, of course, this week, we're going to start with Utah versus USC in the Pac-12 championship. This game will be on Friday, so it's the first game, which um, makes it the first one that we're going to talk about during the week. Currently, USC is a three-point favorite. The over-under is 67 points. And, man, can it get any more exciting than this? I mean, you're talking about two teams that just went at it um, earlier in the season. It was a classic game. Utah won 43-42. to uh, This was in Salt Lake City, so a home game for Utah. And it was an awesome game. I mean, you're talking about just this epic matchup of two teams that could not be stopped offensively. You're talking about two quarterbacks in Cam Rising and Caleb Williams who combined for 916 yards of total offense and 10 touchdowns in the first meeting. Uh, Neither defense could really do much, and I'm expecting more of the same. You know, it's really exciting to see these two teams get to face off again. I think that's a big plus for USC as well because they get the opportunity to avenge their only loss of the season uh, in a game that was really close. So if they go out win this game, I think you can come to the conclusion that USC is the better football team. On the flip side, you know Utah's trying to win the Pac-12 championship. Utah's trying to kind of have this just crazy luck slash crazy opportunity of getting here to this game um, and, and then capitalizing on it. In winning this game, it would be massive for that program just to kind of take advantage of what everyone else couldn't do in the conference. So how did we get here? So last week, USC beat Notre Dame in what was one of their best performances of the season. Um, They looked really good in that game. I was very impressed uh, seeing them come out in a rivalry game, take care of business by 11 points against a Notre Dame team that had really been playing a lot better In recent weeks, they've looked like a legit top 25, top 20 type team. And USC handled them fairly easily in that one. On the flip side, Utah lost to Oregon two weeks ago. And everyone kind of wrote them off. Thought it was over. They weren't going to make it back to the Pac-12 championship game. Uh, They beat Colorado last weekend 63-21. to Destroyed them. And so that just allowed them to kind of sit back and wait and just see, could just craziness happen? Could they find their way into the conference championship? Well, they need some help. They need Washington to win their game over Washington State. Check, that happened. And they need Oregon State to upset Oregon. Check, that happened as well. And it's just crazy because if you go through the tiebreak scenarios, those three teams were all tied at 7-2 and two in conference play. So it took multiple tiebreak rules till you finally got to a point where you could say, okay, Utah's going to the Pac-12 championship. So it got all the way to the fourth step, and that fourth step was combined win percentage in conference games of conference opponents. Essentially, strength of schedule is kind of what it's made out to be. Uh, Utah narrowly got in over Washington, um, or narrowly got in over Oregon. Uh, Utah's opponents were 38-43. and Oregon's opponents were 37-44, and and that's how we got here. So now you got this matchup. I think, you know, it's between two teams that I think are going to move the football fairly easily. I think this is going to be a rather high-scoring game. The winner will probably be in the 40s. The question is, will both teams be in the 40s? Will this be a really competitive game like the first one? And while I think it will be competitive throughout, I think that USC is just the better football team. So while I think both teams will score, both teams will have success moving the football, I trust Caleb Williams more than I trust... Cam Rising, I trust that Lincoln Riley will be able to come in with a game plan that's going to be um, very, very good against Utah defense that has been pretty bad all season long. And while I think Utah will score, I don't think they're going to score enough. And to me, that's going to be the difference here is that I think USC has been more consistent um, throughout this season. And to kind of wrap a bow around that point, USC had their streak of 515-plus yards snapped last week. They had a five-game streak going. Um, So instead, they piled on 436 yards while averaging seven yards per play against a top 25 defense in Notre Dame. Frankly, no one is stopping this team right now. And yes, they haven't played a Georgia. They haven't played a Michigan defensively. 
but they've played a few good ones, and Notre Dame, I would say, is a good defense. I don't think they're elite or great, but they are good, and USC moved the ball rather easily against them, and I think that's a problem for Utah. Now, on the flip side, Utah scored 42 or more points in three of its last four games, but they only scored 17 points in their loss against Oregon. This is telling me that Utah can be a little inconsistent. We've seen that at times this year where they've had low point totals. We've seen times where they've gone off and exploded offensively. But if they have a bad day against USC, they're going to get blown out. They're going to lose this game by 20 or 30 points if they have an off day. If they play a really good game offensively, then this game will be close. I think it'll be somewhere in the middle. Like, I think they're going to move the football, but I do think they'll maybe turn the ball over once or twice, maybe settle for a couple field goals. On the flip side, I think USC uh, will move the ball rather easily and score a lot. So, therefore, I'm going to take USC minus three here. I think the final score uh, that I have written out is 47 to 37, USC winning this game. That means I'm also on the over as well. I think this is actually going to be one of the more exciting games as far as points go, but it not it might not be the closest game by the end of it. Uh, and what this means is USC, if they're able to get this done, they're going to have a great shot at potentially making the college football playoff. Now, they're going to need some help, um, but at least they'll be right there in the conversation and potentially uh, wrap up a spot inside the top four so it should be a really exciting game i'm going to preview more of these conference championship games throughout the week um, but thanks for listening to crystal ball college football